Hey guys, sorry about that. I don't know if I've pitched to you about this, but my internet at home has been just ruthlessly unreliable lately and it went out while I was recording this. And since I'm using Zoom to do the recording, um, that meant that the video cut off. But I'm going to bring us back over here to the lovely land of linear inequalities where we were graphing y is less than or equal to negative 1 plus 2x, um, which was really what we got from from this inequality. Um, but we put it into this form so that we could see what the line looked like. Uh, the slope here is 2, and the y-intercept here is negative 1. Um, and this, after dividing by the negative 1, the greater than or equal to flipped to a less than or equal to. So we've got y is less than or equal to negative 1 plus 2x. And the idea is that that's all the points whose y value is lower than this line. That was the idea. So if you're going to take any, any point down here that's in this region I shaded earlier and check it, like for example, maybe right here, I've got 3 comma negative 2. And if you were to take that and plug it in here or into the original, since they're equivalent, you get a true statement, right? So if I plug in 3 for x and negative 2 for y, then this would be 2 times 3, which is 6, minus negative 2. Uh, which is 6 plus 2. And 6 plus 2 is 8, which certainly is bigger than 1. So that's what it means to say this point is in the solution space. And if you were to test something over here, like 0, 0, uh, plug that in, you get 2 times 0 minus 0 is greater than or equal to 1. Um, well, 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. And 0 is greater than or equal to 1. That's a false statement. So that's why it means to say this point is not in that shaded solution space. But the more intuitive way to think about it is just if this is y is less than some line, then we're talking about the points that are below that line. Um, and on the other hand, if we had something like, let's make this easy, my internet cuts out again, how about y is greater than 2x? If your inequality, when you kind of simplify it, um, you know, solve for y or whatever, gets you this, then we draw the line y equals 2x, but with a small little caveat here. Um, this is a strictly greater than. And what that means is if you take a point that's exactly on the line, that's actually not a part of the solution. So over here, we had a greater than or equal to. I drew the line solid. Because the points that are on the line are actually a part of the solution. If you take a point that's on this line, negative one, like this negative 1 plus 2x, um, you'll get a true statement here. For example, if I take x equal to 0, then this says y is less than or equal to negative 1. So uh, x is 0, you could take y to be negative 1. And then you get a true statement. And if you look at that, that point, that's on this line, right? 0 comma negative 1. So points that are on the line here solve. That's because we have a less than or equal to. So we draw the line as solid. Down here, points that are on the line will not solve. So we draw this line as dotted. So what does y equals 2x look like? It's two, just the grids, that's my slope. And it looks like this, right? It has slope 2, y into sub 0. You know, it looks like that. So for a strict inequality, that's what these are called, strict inequalities, strictly greater than, less than or equal to, so weak, strict. For strict inequalities, we draw the line dotted. And we're talking here about all the y values that are greater than y equals 2x. We're talking about all the points that are strictly above this line. So my solution space here is this stuff. We showed up here. Okay. That's linear inequalities one at a time. But what about a system of linear inequalities?
Well, system of linear inequalities is two or more linear inequalities. The solution to the system should be an ordered pair that solves both things at once. Remember, that's what a system is. The solution to a system is whatever ordered pairs, whatever collections of those variables simultaneously satisfy whatever the objects are here, inequalities. So again, I think I can just show you this through examples. Let's take something like x minus 2y equals 0. Plus one plus one. This would be a system of linear equations. If I want to think about a system of linear inequalities, then, you know, I could give it to you like this. And maybe this one is greater than. And again, we're just looking for ordered pairs that satisfy this. We do this by working with one at a time. Following exactly what I showed you on the previous page, we work with one inequality at a time. We're going to shade a region for each of those, and then the overlap between those shaded regions. Those are the ordered pairs that solve both, right? Shaded region one solves inequality one, shaded region two solves inequality two. The overlap show, solves both. So those will be our solutions to the system. It'll be all the ordered pairs that get shaded twice. All right, that first inequality, if you think about it, uh, this is the same as saying x is greater than or equal to 2y. And that's the same thing as saying 1 half x is greater than or equal to y. Um, and if you want to, you can flip this around to rewrite it as y is less than or equal to one half x. Right? If Timmy is taller than Joey, then Joey is shorter than Timmy. Um, it, yeah, just same thing. Saying this is bigger than y, that's the same as saying y is smaller than x. So this is the form we were writing in earlier. So y, the, the line I'm thinking about here is y equals one half x. The origin is like one half. And he is a less than or equal to, right? So the or equal to weak inequality, we're going to draw a solid one. So the solution set to this first inequality is all of the points whose y value is smaller than one half x, less than or equal to. So that's like everything down here. So maybe I'll shape these all with lines going this way. And now I'll do the same thing with the other guy. He's equivalent to y is less than or equal to one minus x, which is itself equivalent to, let me just write it the other way, y is less than or equal to negative x plus one. As long as you can see the slope and the y-intercept. So this would be minus y-intercept one, slope negative one, just like this. And we're looking here for all the y's which are less than or equal to this guy. So him, that would be everything below this line. So here's inequality one and its shaded region. Here's inequality two and its shaded region. The crosshashed area, this region, 
really, it runs on and on and on forever down here, and over to here, on and on forever down to here. But the region that's beneath both of them, that's the solution space here. And, that, and that's it, lots and ladies. That's, that's really it. Um, you can have combinations of strictly greater than and you know, weakly less than, like greater, strictly greater than and less than or equal to. Um, and one line would be dotted, one line would be solid. Um, but everything follows the rules I've just shown. This is linear systems of inequalities. There are nonlinear systems of inequalities. Just for quick fun. Y is strictly greater than x squared. Y is less than or equal to, let's just say, just a really simple nonlinear system. Nonlinear system of inequalities. You won't run into these too often, but they certainly do exist. Um, and you've actually seen stuff a lot like this through the semester. We've just rarely phrased it like this. Y is strictly greater than x squared. Well, that means we're along the parabola y equals x squared with our curve. Um, and y is less than or equal to 4, looks like this. Just noticed something. I should have drawn that parabola as a dotted line. One way, this is y equals x squared, this is y plus 4. So I want stuff that's above x squared and below 4. I'm talking about this region. So just a, just a good thing to know. But this, this of course, should be dotted. Oh, no, it's all again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just have it, you know, you've lost one of us so many times. Here we go. Got it. The solid. But the solution to the inequality is then all of the things in this region. And also along that. Okay. Forms of inequalities. Not the hardest thing in the world to work with. Nonlinear systems of equations totally depends on how hard the equation works. I think that's all I have for you guys, really. So uh, thanks for your hard work. I know this is a tough class, and you guys have made it this far, so you should feel proud of yourselves. Um, if you want help with anything over the next few days, I'm here to help. Of course, you have a bunch of things to be working on. You need to be finishing your homework. You need to take that take-home test. Um, and you should be prepping for the final. So if you do want to talk about anything, um, please don't hesitate to send me an email, Canvas message, come by an office hour. Otherwise, I will see you at the final, which is on, I think you guys, you guys are the 20th. Oh, no, 27th. Final is on four. 27, 21. It's at 10.30 a.m. Um, as always, I'll, I'll post a Zoom link, and um, if you can get there a little bit earlier, that would be wise. All right. Take care, guys.